Hi everyone. I am Dr. N. Sarana Bhavan from Sarana Bounds Learn From Me. In the earlier video, we discussed what is inside Tally Prime. There are four headings you can able to view through gateway of tally one is masters the second one transactions the third one utilities the fourth one reports so we discussed in our earlier video from first two headings under gateway of tally masters and transactions in this video we are going to learn briefly the third important heading under tally prime is banking you can find from the utilities heading in general whatever the type of business we are engaged most of transactions are connected with our bank the bank is minimizing our job in certain way in tally prime as a business owner you can enable to perform a host of banking related activities like the details about payment to parties check management then bank reconciliation statement related activities that is why i mention banking future in tally it is a very important and useful future for the business owners in banking we can able to maintain bank reconciliation statement check management e payments and deposit slips bank reconciliation statement is going to help whenever we are finding or we found any differences between the passbook and bank column of cash book in tally there are two ways we prepare prs one is automatic reconciliation the second one manual reconciliation once we are very familiar in accounts the new can corner of my business aspects of the respective organization then you opt automatic reconciliation otherwise you go for manual reconciliation the second utility i mentioned under banking is check management the check management i can say that it is simply as an umbrella or under one roof which you can access all the information about the inflow and outflow of the check details in terms of uh, payment issued details 
and payment received details. Especially when you are having more than one bank account with respect to your organization, you can easily organize under the check management. Then the third one is, as I mentioned, e-payments. Of course, now most of the transactions we are doing through online board. So the tally is also providing one of the unique future under banking is e-payments. The party master, then journal, then other aspect which is related to e-payments are all comes under one umbrella. With this, you can easily to know about the online transfer with respect to e-payment or e-fund or e-DD or e-postal orders. So all the details which you can able to access. Easily we are going to maintain all the details. Even the tracking is also possible. Even if you want to take a report of the e-payments transactions of my organization, you can able to take print out using the appropriate menu under e-payments. Then the last one, deposit slips. In a business, whenever we are going to receive any check or any cash from my customer, the same to be deposited in the respective company's bank account. While depositing a check or cash, normally we used to practice by writing the deposit slips. The same deposit slip you can able to take print out via the deposit slip under banking utilities. So whenever you are creating any payment advices with respect to your payments or check issue details or anything, so you can even self-check when you want to withdraw. Is that also you can? There are broadly two deposit slips you can check deposit slip and cash deposit slip. So these are all broadly as a future under banking utility. Let me see how do we use and access these features with the help of a small demo. For which I am going to create the necessary letters. First of all, I am going to create the capital legend, capital account under the group capital account. Enter, enter, enter. The first ledger I have created. The second ledger I am going to create the respective bank ledger account. Say suppose I am having an account at SBI Bank, State Bank of India, under the group bank accounts. We'll ask you the account number. So I am giving my own number. Then IFSC code I am giving. So when you are using the licensed version of Tally, either ERP9 or Tally Prime, when you enabled the banking feature with your bank, once you are given the account number and the IFSC code, automatically fetched 
the bank name as well as the branch details but here i am using educational version so therefore i cannot able to access my bank name but the procedure will be the same you are giving your account name then ifsc code then bank name then if you have any branch the next bank configuration it is very important look at there are three options set alter check books yes because each and every bank there has some set of predefined check formats if you want to use it the same for your printing purpose then you give yes you please provide the check leaves number what is printed in your check a minimum 6 digit let i assumed started with 1 lakh 1 to 1 lakh 50 total number of checks check book name is state bank of india sbi bank enter enable check printing then set alter check printing configuration yes look at so here there is no values with respect to dimensions because we are not properly linked with my bank so therefore the system not able to generate the width and so here i am going to use the predefined sample format look at so this is the sample you are going to fix your width your height uh then what is the item which you have to display where we want to display so accordingly you are going to fix all your dimensions with respect to uh, your check so i have given simply enter 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 okay so here i am writing uh, authorized if two person in the organization then you please give the name but here i am only giving a demo so therefore only one authorization so enter enter accept it so if you want to verify you click preview button the format of check which will get displayed actually if you configure it with the bank the real type of uh, check which is going to display over here but we didn't configure that's the reason i used a simple format but the methodology and procedure is the same simply escape come back the previous escape then come back to your ledger screen window enter 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 if you have any opening balances and finally accept it we exclusively define the banking ledger the next one payment voucher i am going to create payment ledger say suppose i am paying salary therefore i am creating salary account why i am creating this ledger i am going to give the demo if you are paying salary through check then how it is reflect so under indirect expenses gst is not applicable as of now for our demo purpose enter and accept it so as of now we have created three ledgers one is capital the second one the respective bank ledger then third one one payment box let me see apart from that the tally has two predefined ledgers you all aware one is cash account the other one profit and loss account there are four five ledgers okay the, these ledgers are more enough for the demonstration of banking 
utilities under Kali Prime. Now I am going to make a journal entry. Let me assume I am going to contribute capital for my business. Say for example, 1 lakh rupees. As far as the company is concerned, money which is flowing in. So the same which we are going to treat in tally as receipt entry. Therefore, I am clicking the receipt window or you please press F6 from your keyboard. Ensure that the receipt window. In receipt window and contra while posting of your journal entries, especially in tally, you are going to post in the reversal manner. In the reversal manner. Credit will be the first, debit will be the second. This is very important. Therefore, I am going to credit capital. As I mentioned, 1 lakh rupees I am contributing. Next, cash. It is a simple journal entry. What I am going to do right now, out of this 1 lakh rupees capital contribution, 50,000 rupees I am going to transfer, I am going to deposit into my company's bank account. What will be the entry? Bank account data to cash account. So the same entry we call as contra entry. In tally, there has a separate voucher window. By pressing F4, you will access contra voucher window. What is to be credited? Cash to be credited. How much money I am going to transfer? 50,000 rupees. Which bank? State Bank of India. Enter. Here you please look at which bank? State Bank of India. Specify the bank. State Bank of SBI bank account. Received from, let me assume, from company. Okay. Enter. Accept. Then one more entry I am going to post. Now let me assume I am going to pay the salary to my employee via bank. Okay. So when I am paying salary, when I am pay out of any money, it is treated as payment. Therefore, I am clicking payment voucher window in tally. As usual, how we are writing journal entry, the same manner we are going to manipulate by salary so let me assume so 20000 rupees i am paying salary okay via state bank of india via state bank of india here you please look at here you please look at already or at the time of creating a bank account we defined the check range okay check range for our EC identification, okay, identification. So that check range we define totally, it is 50, okay, out of which 50. So totally 50 checks we define the number starting from 1 lakh 1 to 1 lakh 50, totally 50 checks of which the first check we have returned by issuing salary to my employee that is mentioned here instrument number one like one instrument date instrument date the next favoring name say for example i am giving to sendil so therefore i am writing sendil Enter, accept it. So simply a payment. Look at because we already defined the banking configuration. So therefore, in, while successfully posted the voucher entry, whenever. immediately will ask us to take 
here I am not going to take print. So I am simply going to use preview to look at. Okay. So the date. So favoring name. What is the value? So the company name, the authorized to see. And finally, we accept. So now we posted three entries. All these three it is related to bank. Now I'm moving back to gateway app tally. Now I'm exclusively getting into the banking. Now you please look at under the banking. There are two broad headings. One is check, the second one statements. Now let me see the first one. Check printing. Whatever the check you have returned. So that you can take it. Here you please look at check printing. Because we already defined the configuration. Even the tally is also having some predefined format. We used it. Okay. So now for your understandability, for your reference, right? If you want to take the printout, simply press spacebar. It will be the blue color background, right? Use control P to take printout or otherwise you can click here, print, then current, then print check. Okay. You look at the preview. Here also, at the time of uh, successfully posted a journal entry, immediately the system asks you to take a printout. In that time, if you are not taking printout, then via check printing option under check heading, you can be able to. Similarly, so whatever the transactions, whatever the payments, you are going to settle down via bank, everything which is going to list it out here, it's okay. If, if you have taken printout, then it will be changed into yes. If you are not taken printout so far, then those entries which is going to reflect here, no. Okay. So this is you can access through check printing. The next check register, which containing all the check details. At the time of creating the ledger account, we define 50 checks information starting from 1 lakh 1 to 1 lakh 50 it's okay under the bank of state bank of India. you look at out of these 50 check only one check as of now we have written what purpose for issuing a salary therefore the available checks is 49 okay the one not it simply we only issued the check to the particular employee the employee is not sent for the collection Therefore, the passbook statement will not be reflected. So once it is reflected, then he is going to incorporate when the check is clear. That particular date, if it is given, then it will be treated as reconciled. Until doing that, so it will show you as unreconciled. Similarly, even if you are having more than one bank account, so you can easily categorize so you will get all the related details, whether it is a cancelled check or a blank check or a self check, whatever it is, you look at here, there is an possibilities, enter, you look at all this, you please look at check status, available check, blank check, cancelled check, reconciled, unreconciled, all informations you can access through the check register. Okay, you look at one is only one check we wrote. It. The remaining check is available as yes, of now. Immediately you may have the question in your mind. So once you complete these 50, what will happen? Again, you please generate the another number starting from 51 to 100. So this will help us for easy understandability of all the transactions, how it is related to my business with respect to my. So this is check registered, post dated summary. As of now, we didn't post any post dated entries. Suppose if I'm receiving a check from my customer. Okay. As of now, I received, I entered an entry. But when he is going for a collection, only for next month the same date. 
okay so there are two different dates which is to be okay posting date actual impact date so that will be accessed through here okay uh, on monthly wise how many checks we received how many checks we issued based on the posting the next deposit slip state bank of india as of now we are not depositing any money okay but you please click here cash deposit there are two different type of deposit slips you look at this deposit slip because out of 1 lakh rupees contributed as a capital 50000 rupees we transferred into bank while transferring the amount into bank normally i am going to write the account number account holder name then uh, the denominations all these we call as counter file the same we call it as deposit slips if you want to take a print out simply press space bar how we did in the earlier one similarly so you click print current you look at preview you will get it one is customer copy the other one is bank copy this also you can be able to print via tally prime under banking utilities this is with respect to deposit slips the next payment advice payment advice say for example i am making a payment advice to my employee for which i am paying salary so okay this also you can able to take a print out or you can send email but nothing so simple so we are issuing this so okay for authorization he has to sign or the particular party is to be signed and to be written back as it is called the payment advice you look at the preview who is the father okay right so the information code the receiver signature so this payment advice also we can possible to take as a print out or you can directly send to email okay so this you can able to perform via payment advice under statements the last one is bank reconciliation of course nowadays the companies are it is very less to prepare the prs because of the digitalization more payments through online but if suppose you are going to prepare prs via tally prime as i previously mentioned there are two ways you can reconcile one is automatic reconciliation the second one manual reconciliation so this is we call as manual reconciliation look at there are a couple of uh, entries we posted okay one is cash deposited into bank 50000 rupees salary we issued a check to my employee the instrument actually the company return date is 1st april 1st april okay when the same is reflected in your passport let me assume okay 2nd april 2nd april 2000 the next this also reflected 2nd april 2020 that's it if i am accepting so totally you your reconciliation is over now let you see your passbook balance as well as your bank column or cash book balance will be equal if any information displayed here but it is not reflected in the bank statement so leave it as blank when is going to reflect in your balance uh, passbook statement or bank statement then after you please provide the respective date and finally accept it so this is with respect to bank reconciliation statement so this is under the banking utilities in tally prime therefore simply i can say that the banking utility is a very important feature with respect to business owners they can act as a host to the respective banking or the respective bank for easily transacted okay whatever the transaction which is related to the business related to 
the business transaction with bank. So with that, they can save the time, then increase the productivity. I can easily to trace out all the bank related transactions. That is the biggest advantage. Why? So we are using the banking facility, banking utility or banking configuration under Tally. So I hope all you are uh, understood. So how do we configure and how do we access the each and every aspect under banking utilities. Thank you. I'll meet you in another video. Thank you.